Have you noticed sometimes when you're wearing your trousers and you look at yourself in the mirror and it's just something off and you can't pointing out? Today I'm going to show you the do's and don'ts about how to wear your pants and trousers and more important, we're going to have fun because I want to show you how you can transform for a very boring look to something more interesting just by changing one or two items in your outfit. Hi, I'm Frederic. I'm here to help you to elevate your wardrobe and boost your confidence. You can find me on frederickbross.com, anywhere on social media, on MS Frederick Bros, everything will be linked below. Let's jump straight into the video. If you want to wear some leather pants, even a little bit leggings, that's beautiful. But in this case, avoid wearing them with boots or ankle boots, especially when it's over the pants because it's definitely going to cut your silhouettes. It looks like someone cut the level of your ankles. And as well, if you're wearing with any type of a sweater that is a bit too tight because the leggings or pants are already tight and tight, doesn't work well and it doesn't balance well your figure, especially for this type of pants, usually it's better to hide a little bit of the top. I would recommend to wear something more in the same color tone palette. So for me, it will be more in a neutrals. So I decided to wear more like a soft sweaters that I tuck a little bit inside. Not much, you know. And then if you can, obviously, try to find some shoes in the same tone colors. They don't have to be the exact color of your pants especially with pointed one because not only is going to make you look taller but as well slimmer because it's going to be like one line you can wear a three quarter trench coat or even like a cardigan in the same tone of color of the top and as an overall is rebalancing all your figures then you can add a bag you don't have to match your shoes with your bag you can match something your belt with your lipstick or something like that for me i like playing with my accessories such as shoes and bags just to bring a little bit of spice into my outfit when you love wearing this type of loose pants trousers, they are absolutely so comfortable it's so i love wearing those pants but then if you wear something like an oversized sweater and chunky shoes first of all chunky shoes doesn't work well with this type of outfit because it brings some heaviness around your feet and of course because with these sweaters you can tell I look like a box because there's so much volume already around the legs so much volume already around my upper body it's just like I, I look like nothing but you know what do not worry it's a very easy fix just wear instead a fitted shirt, doesn't have to be tight, but still close to your body. You can decide to wear with a belt. Um, if you do that, try to find the belt in the same color of your pants. This way, if it's too contrasting, it's going to cut off you, your body. As well, I love wearing these nude heels. It's one of my favorite shoes because I can wear them with so many different outfits. It, it just brings a nice balance between the loose and the tight. And then with a beautiful pochette or again having a bit of fun with your handbag but still in the same tones of colors. This is the first time I put this um, look together and I think it's so elegant and I can tell you I was so comfortable. I'm thinking not only I feel chic, I'm comfortable and I, I absolutely love this look. This is perfect for going to an office, any type of work when you have this wide leg black pants so easy to style but sometimes if you tend to wear again something a bit too oversized on the top and same for the shoes it's going to bring too much volume too much chunkiness because it's going to make you look much bigger than you really are so instead again wear this sweater by the way is from amazon essential i love it i wear it all the time so it's fitted but not totally loose so i can still feel comfortable it would be perfect for the ladies who have a little bit of a tummy issue i took it a little bit inside but because i'm wearing black around the abdomen then it brings some it, it will shrink visually this area so that's why you can tuck it also if you tuck it and it's not a big chunk in it it would be perfect then to elongate the figures and the legs i love wearing those ankle boots because it's not chunky they're close to your ankle make you look your feet very sexy and very thin and then for rebalancing the figure i love wearing my black trench 
trench coat because it brings some structure around the shoulders. It's such an easy look. Yes, I did exaggerate a bit, but I've seen people wearing something similar. When you're wearing a wide leg pants and then an oversized button down shirt and then tiny shoes especially when it's black ballerinas so instead i like wearing a very tight white singlet white because it's the same palette colors you do not have to recreate exactly the colors if you have another palette color as me that's definitely but the rules at the end of those rebalancing the figure when you're wearing trousers is exactly the same and then i like to wear those ballerinas but instead of the black rounded i like a little bit pointed Yes, I'm being lucky, I got this Barina exactly the same tones of this linen pants. And if you for you, it's you a little bit too conscious about wearing a tight tank on the top. Then repurpose your shirt, but this time you're wearing as a loose shirt because you're wearing something tight underneath. And that's again very nice. Again, it's rebalancing your silhouette. I think it's very elegant very easy to recreate super comfortable and now you have no excuse to wearing your trousers in the wrong way for the next look i've seen so many women wearing that it makes me cringe every time it's when you wear anything skinny jeans tight jeans with a tight tank singlet and those running shoes this is so wrong it doesn't give a favor to your body even for me um, first of all, rule number one, never wear those running shoes for a day at feet. Running shoes only when you go for a run or walking your dog or going to Pilates or to the gym. This outfit I was extremely uncomfortable as, as you can tell. So instead I decided to wear a nice little top. Um, it's a little bit loose, but it's still again quite fitted. For the shoes I decided to wear those nude sneakers and then to rebalancing I decided to wear a nice cardigan and bring a little bit colors with the bag super simple and but as you can tell before and after it brings so much a big difference if you've been following me you know black is my favorite color and i love wearing a monochrome look so for this look i decided to wear this wide leg pants in linen and then a satin shirt so nothing is wrong with the choice of fabrics because those fabrics works very well but in pure pose for you just to show you what it looks like when you're not tucking I didn't tuck the shirt and then I'm wearing my loafers as much as I like the loafers but sometimes they can bring a little bit of chunkiness around your feet as well so the best way what you could do instead is just very simple tucking it I know I know I know tucking your shirt in and the only thing I change is the shoes I'm wearing was sling back and yes I decided to add a little bit of colors just on the feet but remind you those shoes are really easy to wear because they got the extremity in black so it still elongate my legs and then a nice bag and then you have a beautiful look so simple so if you decided to do like a monochrome look if it's not in black on another color please try to find something similar the color of your top of your pants in the shoes if you cannot find exactly the same color for the next looks is for ladies who love wearing chino pants it's so comfortable and so easy to mix match with other clothes but it can turn for chino pants that i'm wearing in this video they have a little bit of a texture in blue and black very very light and as well i decided to do a blue look for you just to be sure that sometimes i do wear colors and this shirt it's very nice but it's already way too busy and obviously i'm wearing the wrong shoes and i'm going to explain why it's just too boring and again because i'm not taking my shirt it looks too boxy but if you still want to wear those type of pants and look very comfortable then i decided to wear some mules but they're totally flat and yes i did have some colors i thought you know what i'm wearing a blue pants i can wear some blue shoes just because i can have fun but i decided to tuck the pants a little bit on the hem because i do believe when you relieved a little bit of your ankles it brings a little bit of skin and i think that's very nice not too high we don't want a capri pants but and not too low just just what you need then for the top i decided to wear a very simple sweater but this time in navy so i'm still in color tone of my outfit 
and it's quite fitted as well. And then I'm wearing my trench coat again to rebalance everything. And I didn't realize I've done that by accident almost, but the beige of the trench coat, you can have a little bit of beige in those shoes, which is a little bit of fun. That's total an accident, but it's actually a good styling accident, I have to say. Let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite outfit. For the next look, when you decided to wear those black leather pants, I love mine so, so much. One wrong way to wear them and one good way to wear them, to transform them into boring. So what is boring? It's when you wear them and they're high-waisted and you wear something is almost cropping your silhouette. So this one is a cardigan with straps. I'm gonna bring the focal point on my upper body, and but it's a little bit too short. It doesn't bring in value my, my, my hips. It's just just something you know sometimes you look at yourself in the mirror when you're trying an outfit and you know something is just off then this is this this is totally off and then the loafer because it's, it's just too heavy so instead i like to wear just because i want to keep the strap tops but i change it into a neat top this one is from amazon oh my gosh i wear it all the time in, in winter and it brings a little bit more volume because again those pants are quite tight I like tucking them a little bit at the front. It's a bit tricky because it's a chunky knit, but I still love a bit of a loose and a bit of a tight. And as well for the feet, because the loafer tends to really cut. The, the length of these pants are not correct for my silhouette because I cannot roll them. So I decided to wear those ankle boots in black printed the socks book so this is why they're really close to my ankle and that rebalance again the silhouette and of course i decided to stay in my favorite color do not kill me um with the black trench coat and a nice structure bag and i can tell you i really love this outfit so you see it's not much it's just about choosing the right size and to any ladies i think if you're over 30, over 40, 50 plus, I think anything cropped up will not look good on you. For this look with my skinny jeans and flat ballerina in tan, so nothing is wrong so far. And I'm wearing this very long and heavy knit. This one are from H&M. They're actually extremely good quality. So this is why I love wearing them. But obviously, as you can tell on this one, I'm very short. <laughs> so you can cheat properly just by tucking a bit inside. This one is a bit tricky because it's very chunky. So I decided to have just the overall as my camel coat and to bring a little bit or chicness is to wear the camel coat just over the shoulder so it will keep you warm but it will give you this opening over your body and as well i decided to roll my jeans to the end rearrange and leave it at the level of my knees and wearing something in the same tone of color of the jumper or the sweater and the camel coat next look when you're wearing those beige any type of beige uh, jeans they can be slim fit they can be skinny mine are just in between skinny and actually i'm just wearing them i really love them all my jeans by the way are from zara because you're always asking me and then something is really wrong with this outfit because I'm wearing something very light on the legs and black, black on top and bottom. And you can tell you just don't know where to look. Plus, I did that in purpose, obviously. When you wear something too tight or when you lift your arm and someone can see your belly, this is not good. Unless you want to do it in purpose. But for me, I don't like it. And again, I decided to wear those black loafers. By the way, you're going to think in this video, the black loafers, something is wrong with it. But it's not. It's just I'm showing you a different way. You could wear them differently. If you have something like that and you tend to wear your light jeans like that, it could be white jeans as well do that instead um i'm wearing actually my black tee copley classic one but a v-neck so this time it's opening your head and all around your neck i really love this opening then i decided to uh, roll the jeans around about the ankles i'm wearing an oversized jacket in linen absolutely love this look it's so simple but uh, again it's just like a rebalance thing and then for fun i decided to wear my leopard heels because i think 
maybe it's a bit too simple what could i wear in the bottom and yes you could wear some beige shoes you could wear whatever you want it even black if you want to that could be fun as well with this outfit i'm so happy of making this look it's again you don't have to make you look too complex to look good it's all about if you remember one rule it's about rebalancing your figures from tight loose and fitted if you like this type of video so please give me a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe click 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 this way i can create more videos for you i would like to thank you so much again for watching do not forget to watch my fashion playlist because it's filled with over more videos how to transform a boring outfit into an amazing one you have a fabulous day you take care i see you soon ciao ciao